Hello guys, I have some great news to share today. So, as I mentioned earlier in my previous videos, that I have been um, searching for a job since I guess maybe uh, uh, November uh, this year. So it has been probably about two months right now, and today is actually Christmas Eve. And the good news is that I finally got uh, like one job offer and still I have a f uh, like uh, a lot of interviews going on so I did my calculation again uh, and I found out that turns out uh, each week I have three to four interviews uh, you know just uh, lying there on my calendar and uh, uh, yesterday a company they called me they uh, did two interviews with me one is the telephone interview and the other one is uh, a zoom meeting with the HR director and uh, they called me again today, so they are, so basically they are uh, trying to hire me. Uh, but firstly, uh, I have to join the company as an intern, and after maybe three months, they can convert my visa into a uh, maybe a, a work permit or something. So basically, um, I I have to do a three months internship, and afterwards they will um, give me a permanent a contract and help me with my visa processes. So. I'm really, really, really excited. So, so that's how I feel right now. And I called my parents, and they were actually super, super supportive of me working in a European country. So, I'm so excited, and I want to share my experience, and I want to share uh, more in details of how I did it. And I really hope that. Uh, my sharing could help you if you are also like me, uh, who is an international student who doesn't speak fluent uh, French or maybe German or maybe uh, Dutch. So it's, so basically you speak your own language um, and you speak uh, English and you're trying to find a job in Europe. So voila, let, let, uh, let's begin. <coughs> I think if you have watched my previous video and uh, you, you would notice that previously I uh, set my search strategy uh, into maybe finding a job maybe only in Paris or maybe in France in general but I have encountered a lot of uh, setbacks because I realized that um, uh, if I want to find a job in France with the, the COVID with the uh, uh, redundancy of hiring of you know uh, from the companies and also uh, with the current situation I finally realized that a lot of the French company or a lot of the international companies they are trying to uh, you know limit the number of hiring foreigners so that's the ugly truth and also with our uh, language skills um, I guess that you know when when uh, especially you're putting yourself in the context of uh, working in France you have to speak French uh, you know it's the truth because French people they're not very uh, famous for you know uh, speaking English so that's that is the truth so uh, I try to apply for as many uh, possible as you know jobs as possible in France I I think maybe every I literally spend every day applying for jobs and at night I just trying to go out a little bit before the the curfew and everything but um, during these two months, even I worked so hard, like I worked so hard on trying to find a job. I only got two job interviews from French companies. Uh, so um, that's the number I got. And uh, frankly speaking, I'm not, uh, you know, someone who has zero experiences. So I guess that will be the maybe the situation for you as well. So uh, that's why I changed my job search strategy uh, in December. So starting from December, I started to expand, like literally expand my uh, uh, geographic search to anywhere in Europe or uh, Europe to, uh, to, to UK, um, etc. So I, I talked about this in my previous video that I was also starting to look for jobs in, in the UK as well. But it turns out that there are other obstacles for us because now with the um, Brexit, uh, a lot of British people, they are British company, they are not sure about where they are going about the you know when when it comes to hiring because um, uh, there are, there are just a lot of uncertainties for for them as well, 
and I, I learned from other recruiters that um, uh, you know, with the, bre the Brexit situation, a lot of companies from the UK they are trying to apply for the uh, ability to sponsor visa to the government, but things take time, and some companies they just you know 